Shatomjar have have a story. From 1984, all the wines were done from Norway. Mm. All Chateau, we have Chateau, we have Chateau and the wines. From 1986, it starts with the blend. 60% Abaini, 40% Norway. Mm -hmm. We, we, we uh, uh, Serge Rocha decided not to choose the name of the grapes because he said, you know, you have two schools. Let me explain to you. You have two schools. French school, which they call the domain, and now the most recent school, which was the American school, they want to say we call it the great grape school, where they call the wine by the grape, so the people have a little bit of knowledge. We decided that we are going to stick on the domain. We added Merway and Abaydi, and we never called it Abaydi or Merway. We called it Chateau Mizar White, but yeah. it was always 60% Abaydi, 40% Merway, and it's always fermented in oak and a new oak. Mm -hmm. Age a new oak for nine months, and but uh, but released after seven years. So now the most recent Chateau Mizar you, you will find white in Lebanon now is 2013 or 2014. Mm -hmm. This is the policy of Chateau Mizar never to release a Chateau before seven years. If yes. it was white or if it was red. Even the whites, you uh, you wait for seven years. Yeah, yeah. we bottle it after one year, but mm -hmm. we have to wait his big brother. Yeah, we have to wait his <laughs> brother. They cannot go. They cannot go alone. He has to go mm. with his brother, with his red brother. With the red so they one. Go together. And, and actually exactly. what's very interesting in your white is that uh, it doesn't have to be chilled necessarily to be enjoyed. I mean, yeah. it's one of the whites that will evolve in the glass in a, a very, uh, a very in, the, in, a, in a matter that is very interesting and that does not have necessarily to be chilled to be enjoyed. This is, this is the characteristic of one of the great characteristic of uh, the autochthone grape varieties of Marwah and Abaydi. Mm. Because Abaydi, like Joe said, it has structure, it has it have a robust structure, it's creamy, buttery, while the Marwah is something else, it's nervous. It's like, mm. it's more a purity. It's like a man who is always nervous. You understand? <laughs> Acidity, yeah. freshness. Yeah. It means when it was, so the Mount Lebanon is always green and fresh. It was from 1,200 meter altitude. And recently we planted in Biblos, one of the biggest a vineyard of Merwe, 15 mm. hectares of Merwe in Pedro. Mm. So uh, this year was my first year of harvest, and we are going to see what was going to happen. One of, I think the biggest the biggest vineyard of Merwe in the whole world. Nobody has the Merwe yeah. except us, and 15 hectares. Nobody will plant 15 hectares of Merwe. It's very courageous. Amazing, amazing. We'll, we'll wait to, yeah. to 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 drink the wine, the first vintage of that. We can send you. A, we can send you a sample. No worries. We have a sample. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Thank you.